Hello, everyone, and welcome to this General's Commitment Special. Matt Sossler, alongside Assistant Captain Brent Kiefer, who just announced that he will be taking his talents to West Point to join Army in the United States Military Academy. First off, Keith, congratulations. How's it feel? Uh, thank you so much, Sauce. It feels uh, very surreal. Definitely, I've uh, been in this league for a little bit, so it's nice to finally get that commitment under my belt and not have to worry about the school part. Now just focus on uh, winning a Robertson Cup. And you mentioned uh, you've been in this league a while. You see those commitment posts flash almost every single week. What was your reaction when you saw your name go up on that on that uh, null social page? Uh, it was definitely pretty cool. I mean, just uh, think, think about all my buddies with their uh, name and posts on there. So it's nice to finally see my name and uh, just surreal once again. And Army, a bit of a unique school when it comes to Division One hockey in terms of the requirements and everything like that. Uh, what made you choose West Point? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Brotherhood for sure. When I went there, it was just top-notch facilities, the best I've seen. Uh, when I met some of the players and Colin be like a familiar face in the general's organization, it felt like I've been there already. Like all the guys were so open arms and all that. And uh, it was a brotherhood and the coaches and the players themselves, like they're saying how much the brotherhood is and how great the coaches are. And more importantly, just the history that uh, West Point has. It's uh, some that most people never get a chance to be a part of. So I'm definitely glad to be a part of it. Yeah. And you led right in my, to my next question. The first general's captain, Colin Bielek, has uh, made himself a name up there. Uh, what's it like coming from the same junior organization that he did and sort of following in his footsteps a few years down the road? No, yeah, it's definitely awesome. I've heard many great stories about him, definitely from Brian, because he's honestly probably the head guy that's ever come out of the generals. Brian loves him so much, and uh, he's a great guy. We sim have similar stories to where he was kind of itching for a commitment down the line, and uh, he finally got it, and he's been doing uh, amazing in uh, Army ever since. And Army competes in the Atlantic, one of the top collegiate leagues in the eastern part of the United States. What's it going to be like playing against the top-notch level of D1? Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's definitely a, a bigger and a faster division compared to the Null. And I definitely got some stuff to work on this summer, and uh, I got to bring my skills and just my uh, mindset into uh, the start of the year and have a – my goal is just have a great freshman year and uh, experience a lot because besides the hockey part, there's still a lot of stuff that I'll have to do that – it's definitely going to be mind opening and for sure. Yeah, I can't emphasize that enough. West Point, a very tough school off the ice as well. And sort of staying with this, the Atlantic has a lot of formal generals playing across the conference. I know hockey is a world where you play with someone at the lower levels and then you play against them in juniors and then college and then so on and so forth. Uh, what's it going to be like to see some familiar faces next year? Uh, no, it'll definitely be awesome. Just uh, the guys I played with my rookie year in Shreveport to the guys I played with in uh, Northeast last year. And honestly, like, I'm excited for the Air Force rivalry for one. I'm from Colorado Springs, and I know about like six or seven of my really good buddies that are on that team. So it'll always be nice to see those familiar faces, have the family at the game as well. Yeah, not to mention a uh, current teammate, Joe Schubert, is going to be taking his talents out to Colorado Springs. So I uh, have to enjoy that teammate, uh, that teammate chemistry now before it turns the other way in just a yeah. calendar year about they're going to be playing that game. So exciting things down the line. And now shifting things back to the task at hand in Attleboro, you mentioned still have a season to play, still focus on the Robertson Cup. Maryland comes up north for the last time this season, sort of an interesting uh, scheduling considering uh, the season still has a couple of months left. But tough series, what's it going to take? Uh, definitely is going to take some grit. Uh, they're a very good team. They're very consistent. Their systems are definitely top notch and they show up uh, night in and night out. And we just got to focus on getting pucks deep and uh, hitting their D because last time we did beat them, uh, kind of what set us out apart between like the other times we lost was that we're uh, being aggressive on the forecheck and just making sure to wear down their D. They're, they have a great D on the back end, great forward. So the more we pressure them, the more chance we'll get. And circling back before we circle back forward again to uh, Maryland uh, last week, Jersey. I the series did not really go uh, go the way. Uh, what were some of your takeaways from that set? Oh uh, yeah, no, for sure. It's uh, it's crazy too because uh, the second week when we played Jersey there, we swept them, and then we come back and then we get swept. So it just shows how close one the division is. And two, uh, we we definitely the game first game definitely got out of hand a little bit. Uh, Steve O, 
uh, our dad got it was a cheap shot i thought personally and uh guys handled that but sadly coming away with that meant we had some suspensions and guys getting kicked out so we were short bench at one point we had 4d and one of the d was uh tyler ram which is a forward so that's pretty hard to play against the number one team in the division with that but uh i liked how the guys played in the third period the first game i just like to compete like I, although like the score didn't show the guys uh we're definitely battling as hard as they could with the limited bodies we had. Yeah, and shifting again back to Maryland in the division in general, it's a close race. Uh, where's the head at heading into almost March? Oh, yeah, definitely. We're uh, not in a safe spot. Obviously, you can never be like safe about it, but we're in fourth right now. Uh, we're, we have one game in hand over Jamestown, and they're in fifth. We're two points out of them, though, but we just got to take a – every weekend end with at least getting two points minimum and sweeping the teams that we should definitely sweep and uh, having that consistent mindset, regardless if we sweep a team the weekend before or, or we get swept, we got to have the same mindset and just uh, focus up and have a good last stretch before we're going to playoffs and start making a run. I forgot to ask a uh, year and a half with the gens roughly by the time uh, uh, the season ends, how did the general's organization help you uh, prepare for the commitment? Uh, well, one, Brian Erickson and uh, Eric Progen, Matt Devil and Cody always uh, working night in, night out, getting everybody looks, emailing a million schools, giving us opportunity, giving guys confidence to play their game inside the system. And just, uh, I mean, I can't thank them enough for all they've done for all of us, even though uh, some guys don't get to come in what they want at the time. But they just do a lot for us. And uh, coming into this organization, I knew uh, Tyler Cooper. That was the only kid I knew. And the team came in with open arms. And that's one thing I can stand by with this organization, saying that they let everybody come in with open arms and we love every guy who comes in here. And that was a general at the time. It's called the Jens family for a reason. Matt Sossler alongside assistant captain and future member of the Army hockey team, Brent Kiefer. Keith, congrats on the commitment and uh, good luck heading towards the rest of the way against Maryland. Thanks so much, Sauce.